What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's a very, very important video because today we finally get to start putting the chopster back together. So stay tuned. And eventually this one will rat out on its own and that's fine that's pretty much what I want and a sissy bar I had made up that didn't quite fit but I got a uh, torch and I'm gonna try and uh, heat it up and bend it where I need it we'll see how that works out so some of the body modifications there's my tank getting ready to go back on today my handlebars I painted black the grips would be copper so it'd be a lot of copper accent all right so just off of the clutch plates alone, we've gotten to this. And that's cool. But I changed the clutch plates out last weekend, as you've seen on the other video. And so today, uh, let's get the front end on and uh, a, lot, a few more other things on. And uh, then we can start doing a little tweaking. All right, first thing we're going to do is uh, go ahead and pack these new bearings with grease. So that should be fun and should be messy. Apparently, I mean, you can't just roll them around in the grease like that. You got to really pack that stuff in there so that you have a good long lasting uh, lifespan out of uh, out of your bearings so always make sure you get a lot of grease in there the more grease the better you can always wipe off ac excess <coughs> but you want to make sure if you want your bearings to last longer than uh, or at least as long as the expected lifespan and you want to make sure that they're greased in there and if I could find the old ones I'd show you the difference and uh, how bad they were. They were pretty dry, bone dry, like no grease on them whatsoever. We get a little bit on the end, inner diameter. Hopefully that'll help application and putting this thing back on the on the next stem. Well, started getting the front end on, and. Stripped out the bolt that goes into the top stem. And I don't know if I stripped out the threads inside. I hope not. But there is nothing even remotely close to me. So I'll have to wait till tomorrow to go get a new bolt. Hmm. Oh, no. I guess I can run down to 20 minutes away. But that really sucks. 